what's up y'all so i'm about to give y'all all the tea all the tea on the university of michigan this right here this official let me turn on the light okay this is a little bit all right y'all so what's up what's good with you how you doing how you been been good my name is Corey maria i am currently well actually no i'm no longer a junior i just finished my junior year at the university of michigan As you might know, I'm away at college uh, at the University of Michigan. Just finished my freshman year there, so woo 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 woo. As of four o'clock this morning, I am currently a senior. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That's so crazy. That is so crazy, y'all. But I'm a senior at the University of Michigan studying material science and engineering with a minor in crime and justice. And today, I'm going to be coming to you guys with the fact about the pros and cons of attending the University of Michigan. Now I know it's really close to National Decision Day. I think I'm going to be posting this on National Decision Day because I had to re-record because my first time that I actually recorded um, the audio was really, really bad. And y'all don't deserve that. So I decided to re-record. So here we are. So I have quite a few things on my list that I compiled, but I also took the time out to ask people on Instagram. I asked current students and I got some of their insight. I posted a poll on Instagram and I let them kind of fill in what they thought were the pros and cons of attending the University of Michigan and I got plenty of responses. All right, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this video. Wait, hold up, hold up. By the way, if you are not subscribed, I need you to look down there, scroll down just a little bit. Y'all see that red button? I need you to click it. I'll show you. I'll show you. Oh, y'all see how easy that is? Hoo child. More little story. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. All right, let's get into the video. Okay, so the format of this video is kind of going to go like um, I'll say a pro, two pros, and two cons, and then I'm going to switch off between the two. So we're going to start off with two pros. So one of the pros in attending the University of Michigan is the academics. If many of you are familiar with the University of Michigan, you know that it is often referred to as the Ivy League of the Midwest. Um, academics are huge at the University of Michigan. Academics are rigorous and tough, but because of that, we're known, our school is known for our strong academics. And to kind of tie into that, um, the reason why our academics are so great is because we are being taught by literally some of the smartest people. Um, these people have led groundbreaking research. These people have published papers. These people are authors, writing textbooks. They have multiple degrees. They're very distinguished individuals. It's scary how smart they are. Like, and this is, this is across the board with the professors at the University of Michigan. Like, um, it's really impressive to see. And it's really comforting to know that you're in the best of hands in terms of academics. The financial aid at the University of Michigan is accommodating. In my opinion, I think it's really accommodating for students who come from low income backgrounds. Michigan does what they can to make sure that you can attend. And also, I think another half of that is if you aren't receiving enough aid uh, from the University of Michigan, it's either because you're um, EFC, which is your estimated family contribution, is a little too high for them to kind of um, step in in regard to uh, giving out grants. But there's also scholarship. There's also scholarships that are available uh, for people to apply to if you are in um, that boat. But there's an abundance, especially in the College of Engineering scholarships that are currently helping a lot of people I know, including me, attend school. Like I said in my previous videos. Half of my schooling is scholarships, the other half is aid from the University of Michigan. And as a result, I haven't had to pay anything. I have not paid a dime uh, for schooling. I have not taken out any loans for schooling. I, Y'all know who I give all the praise to for that. It's a very affordable school compared to schools. Um, even in a state like Michigan State, it's a little bit more affordable than Michigan State, which is not what I expected. And now for out-of-state students, uh, I'll post the price per year here because I'm not quite sure how much it costs for out of state, but I know it's like, I think it's like 60,000 a year or something like that, but it's, it's a hefty price. And even though um, out of state students have to pay more in tuition, um, Michigan is also accommodating to them as well. So Michigan pretty much covers all of its bases or most of its bases from what I've experienced um, when it comes to financial aid. 
two cons one of the biggest cons i receive a lot of people particularly minorities they know that there is a lack of diversity at the university of michigan the ratio of minorities to the ratio of non-minorities at the university of michigan is just astounding it's just such a big difference and it's something that Michigan really needs to work on doing better at. Granted, it's the PWI, so, you know, it's what we signed up for. I don't expect an HBCU, but I'd appreciate it if University of Michigan added a little bit more diversity to the campus. Besides there being a lack of diversity, another con to attending the University of Michigan is that academics are hard. Like, yo. Yo. It's challenging and I can't even put it into words. Like you have to experience it for yourself to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you have to. I can't I can't even describe it. Michigan literally puts you through the ringer um, in regard to their academics. Um, but it's they have good intentions, but it's just it's hard. And I can't describe it. You kinda gotta be in it to kind of know what I'm talking about. And anybody who has ever attended Michigan, who goes to Michigan knows that it's hard. Um that's it. None more, none less. I'm going back to pros. So one pro is all the opportunities that are open to you. And this this goes far beyond just job offers, even though that's a huge part, like that is, that's a critical part. We have a lot of scholarship opportunities, like funding opportunities. We have a lot of great study abroad programs, extracurriculars to get into. So the opportunities are just endless at the University of Michigan. And I think a lot of students can agree with me on that. Like, it's crazy. Um, at the University of Michigan, there are a lot of people from all over. You meet a lot of different people from a lot of different places. It's really awesome to see and to expand your knowledge on different backgrounds and stuff. I think that's really cool. It's clicky. So it's a lot of folk from all over, but it can be very clicky. People hang out with who they want to and they stick to that group don't really branch out. So it's easy for cliques to form. Um, that's the harsh reality of it all. You'll find who your friends are at the university. You'll find, you know, who your group is, who your people, who your riders are, and you're just gonna ride out your college career with them, period. Ann Arbor is a food desert. I'll insert the definition of a food desert right here, but as Ann Arbor starts to become more gentrified, it's like pushing out the amount of affordable food um, on campus or nearby campus and if you want to get affordable food you need a car or you need to get on the bus and in this day and age and right now in the world ain't nobody trying to get on the bus and not every college student has a car so that's it's it's really a big con when it comes to stuff like that there are a lot of stores like driving distance but as far as like walking no you will not be going to any store or grocery store besides Walgreens or CVS. Are y'all hearing me? If you're from out of state, from any state that's warm, like Florida, Texas, California, um, any place on the West Coast or down South, that gets like really warm and always has really good sunny weather. Y'all are lucky, but Michigan is not like that. Um, I've lived in Michigan my whole life, so the weather is not that big of a deal to me. But if you are from out of the state, it might be. You might want to visit first, take that trip, see how you like it, and see if it's worth enduring um, these cold, long winters um, that we got to go through. But I say it is. As long as you got you a good coat, you got you some good boots, you sh you'll be straight. The, everybody is pretty smart and they're serious about their academics. If you have to do group work, for the most part, I think from my experience, I've experienced everybody pulling their weight and everybody being involved. But I do hear of some stories where people be trying to finesse and stuff. So be cautious still because everybody want to succeed, but some people, they don't want to do it the right way. So you got to be cautious um, with those type of people. There are a lot of student organizations to join on campus. We have all different type of organizations and clubs and groups that you can join. They speak to people's different niches or different interests. So like, it, there are plenty. There's a squirrel feeding club. We have like a workout clubs. We have different professional societies for different majors. Greek life. Then we have like student section uh, clubs. I think it's called the Maze Rage. Y'all. It's crazy how much you can get involved in at the University of Michigan um, and how many uh, groups or student orgs you can be a part of. A con that kind of goes off my first point with people being smart, um, highly smart and motivated to achieve. At the same time, you're working with a whole bunch of smart people who have been leaders at their school, who have always been alphas, most of them, a lot of them. 
it's not uncommon for you to clash with people who just can't be wrong uh, because usually a lot of people who come to the University of Michigan they have perfect transcripts and they just can never be wrong they have perfect ACT scores and it's a lot of people who think they know it all so coming into contact with those people can kind of be challenging and it's a lot of those type of people at Michigan there's a lot of know-it-alls it's really no set way to handle it because it's different type of situations for different people the cost of living in Ann Arbor is very high um, so if you want to find an off-campus apartment, if you want to find like an on-campus apartment, they're very expensive. So I just got out of the apartment search process and the average price to live like by yourself in Ann Arbor is about, I'd say from $750 to $1,000 a month. Cost of living is so expensive. It costs so much to eat. It costs so much to drink. Like every restaurant near Ann Arbor it's expensive like and it even even the Walgreens and CVS oh my goodness they so expensive y'all my wallet be crying every time I come out of there I advise like all the freshmen coming in stay stay in the dining hall as long as you can um, because once you get out here in the real world I haven't even experienced it yet because I've been in a dorm and on a meal plan but I know from just watching other people it's no joke like is no joke. The cost of living in Ar Ann Arbor is high. There's always something to get into, whether it be on campus or off campus. There's always something to do. So if you ever looking for something to get into, like any day of the week, any given day of the week, there's always something going on. When I say something, I mean like student organizations are holding events. Go to the gym if you're a gym rat and that's your thing. Um, go get into a party if that's your thing. Hang out with friends on State Street. UMich has nice dorms uh, for the most part. If you're not on um, if you're not on North Campus, UMich has pretty nice dorms. And I'm hoping that they renovate in Bursley pretty soon because that has the potential to be very nice, but they, it's just old. Um, but I stayed in Cousins for the past two years and that was honestly a great experience. Literally close to no problems there. So I really enjoyed it. Right nearby is Alice Lloyd. Uh, you got South Quad, which is pretty nice. It just needs air conditioning. Then you got West Quad, which is where I always wanted to live, but could never get in there. What's the other ones? East Quad, North Quad, all of them. I'm forgetting some, but whatever. They're all nice. There are a ton of different majors. Michigan got over, let me search this up, hold on. There are more than 275 degree programs in 19 schools and colleges offering a tremendous academic breadth and opportunity for discovery. Y'all, that's crazy. That is crazy. That's insane. A, a con uh, about the University of Michigan is that when you're in intro classes and even some non-intro classes, they can be very large. Like it can be a lot of kids in those classes. The good thing is, as you narrow down um, and become deeper into your major, the classes do get smaller, but they do start off like very, very large. After spending some time there and after spending like multiple years in Ann Arbor, it gets to be kind of small. And as you do get older, if you have a car um, on campus, feel free to venture off campus because campus does get very small as you begin to learn it, as you begin to, you know, move throughout campus on an everyday basis. It gets small and that's, that's what any college campus anyways. So if you have a car, you got a bike, get off campus, you know, see what's around Ann Arbor because there's plenty to do but you just gotta get off campus. Just like anywhere, a uh, crime does occur in Ann Arbor. Um, so be aware. Now it's nothing to be like real scared about because the type of crime that be happening in Ann Arbor, it's like, what? It's, it be some weird stories that um, we get for crime alerts. I haven't heard anything that's like really, really bad that would make me wanna um, not live in Ann Arbor. I think it's relatively safe. Now, as you go off campus, you are susceptible to crime. It's all a matter of protecting yourself and kind of being aware of your surroundings and not going out too late at night, yada, yada, yada. Y'all know this. We're a school known for research. We're built on research, like, who child? If you want to get into any type of research, we have it at the University of Michigan. If you want to research something new, I'm almost positive you can do that at the University of Michigan. You can do it. There are a ton of resources out there at the University of Michigan to help you succeed, which is something that I really appreciate. Um, there are a lot of different services available to students. It's just a matter of tapping into them. Uh, somebody said, a pro is Corey. My heart. 
All right, uh, so some pros are, you will say the name prestige associated with Michigan, the opportunities, the Michigan name goes far, the clout, a lot of ambition, more spaces for students of diverse backgrounds than most large universities. Oh yeah, one more pro is that Michigan does have a huge alumni network. I think it's like one of the largest um, alumni networks that there is. They're always giving back to the university, always pouring into the university, and students benefit from it so greatly because they're always alumni, you know, funding scholarships, um, holding luncheons, um, serving as mentors, just a lot of things that enable students at the university to excel. There are a lot of places to eat downtown. But a con of that is that it, those places do get old once Ann Arbor gets small. So be aware of that. Somebody didn't, somebody didn't spill the real tea, okay? Somebody didn't say it. They say the dating pool is shallow in reuse. There you have it. I have to be real with y'all. It's a very, very shallow dating pool. Um, as far as like uh, the black community goes, um, yeah. <laughs> it's not many of us just that's that's what I have to say on that um, I think it pretty much explains itself that minorities at the university often feel um, imposter syndrome um, because it's kind of like a double whammy I feel um, in a sense where one you know we're, we're minorities and statistically we're not supposed to be at the University of Michigan and two we have hard academics that are constantly uh, making us feel as though we're not adequate um, in the classroom so we're, we're facing resistance both in the community and in the classroom, which can make it really difficult to kind of be a minority at the University of Michigan. There is no room for bikes on campus. Like people try, they try to ride their bikes through the diag so hard. During the prime time of the day, which is about maybe like noon to three, the diag is popping, it's busting y'all. So like when people try to ride their bikes through the diag, it's pitiful. Cause it's like, are you serious? It's, it's this little space and you're trying to ride your bike. So UM is not really the place to ride your bike it's on campus, but if you go off campus, you try. Um, I think that's it, that's it. My biggest tip is to find your community, find your people, get close to God, cause you gonna need them. And yeah, you got it. Like whatever college throws at you, this goes for all students who are getting ready to pack up and go to college within the coming months. Just know that, you know, you got this. Um, and you're gonna make the best decision for yourself, whether or not it's U of M, if it's another college, so be it. Um, it's the best decision for you. And with that being said, I just wanna thank y'all for taking the time out to watch my video. I really hope this helps you guys gain some insight on how the University of Michigan is. And it helped you ultimately decide whether or not you wanna go to University of Michigan. And I hope you decided that you do, um, because it's a great place, it's an amazing place. And I just thank y'all for tuning in. Um, if y'all made it this far in the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. We trying to reach 2K, 2K subscribers, okay? Subscribe. But if you found it helpful, make sure you share it. Get the word out, y'all. Like, if y'all found it helpful, let somebody know. With that being said, make sure y'all staying inside and staying safe. You can be blessed, and I'll see y'all in the next video.